Challenges are given in any game you play, whether it's something simple or it's an aspiration. They are practically unavoidable. Also, many is no different as challenges are anywhere. Doing anything as a challenge, whether it's going for your first 5 star pass or going for your first 5 star FC, they are both conceived as a challenge. Today's video is going to be completely based upon the reform dam, known as Epsilon, the dam that everyone aspires of clearing and that only very few have achieved to clear. Bands of first made and released publicly for the Ursu forum page 21st of May 2017, but then later would have its own website made for them around August 2017 as a creator, DD Mythical, will either become banned or apparently restricted for reasons that I am unable to find besides for one thread on beatmap, Chaos Japan. All dans made by DD Mythical include four types of maps, a jack map to start off the dan, followed by a tech map and after that is a speed map to finish it off, there is a stamina map. Epsilon's map list is Rose Quartz 1.3 for the jack map, Forgotten 1.4 for the tech map, Mario Pain time regression for BMS for the speed, and the stamina is Hit to to Few to Go. There aren't many rules for dance, but there are still some, and the rules are that if you pause, the run is automatically disqualified. They are made for pencil achievement and their stamina base, so it will irritate other players as you are cheating, and the only accepted mods are Mirror, Fading, Flashlight, Hidden, Hard Rock. Double time and night call. The first ever attempt publicly available on Epsilon Dan was from Silly Fangirl getting an 87% run, and it was achieved on the 20th of March 2018, only to be uploaded 3 days later on the 23rd. Later on during December 1st of 2018, he would better his score getting a 93.07% and uploaded the same day. He had PB'd his score multiple times in the past. His best was 91.91 and he completely skimped 92%. Silly Fangirl also managed to clear Epsilon at all this zero, which is still an insane achievement, but it is ruined by the fact that it is OD0. OD basically affects the hit accuracy timing range. Zero makes it more lenient for slight mistakes, whereas 10 is very punishable for even the slightest mistakes and can cause a major score difference between some players. Even though it was cleared with OD0, it still doesn't remove the factor of it still being very impressive and a really good score. JH Lee has attempted the Epsilon previously. He scored 94.88 on Rose Quartz, only to stop playing during Forgotten with 92.99 and died with 92.87. It is unknown whether he attempted it again or not, but there was a video posted on the 13th of September 2019, presumably by a fan. Wonder has attempted Epsilon a handful of times. His most notable attempt was during his legitimacy stream on the 5th of October 2019. He scored 95.80% on Forgotten as the map alone and decided to go for an Epsilon run direct after just trying to improve his score that he set a day prior. His previous score was 92.10% and during their live stream with a live audience, he managed to get a 94.19% run, which was a 2. 0.09 accuracy difference in just one day. And it was set live too, so it may have caused possibly stress and nervousness upon him. Since then, Wonder has disappeared from the media scene, but not completely, as he's uploaded 3 videos in the past 8 months. With the full backstory, sort of, out of the way, let's go on to the clears in chronological order. Miyuka is a known good player. The first test rank on the Dan was set by him on November 15th in 2019. He allegedly did a clear the same year, but later on he admitted it was fake. Regardless, the first ever clear on the Dan was set by him on the 10th of May 2020, making him the first player to get a clear on the Dan and solidifying him as one of the best players on Mania for his time. His accuracy between each map also 
almost never falls below 96%. He achieved 96.63% on raw squads, managed to keep 96 after Forgotten 1.4, but on Mario Paint he drops below 96% since the map is tedious to play already. But on Hitsugi Tofutago, he manages to regain his accuracy and finally clear this monster of a den. The second clear was set a little bit later into 2020, as that happened on the 15th of December from Kalkai, standing at an impressive 96.11% accuracy. During his run, he achieved 98.11 accuracy on Rose Quartz, managed to keep high accuracy during Forgotten achieving 96.91 in the process and then he went on to keep the accuracy high on Mario Paint ending with 96.25 after the map then he did an impressive run on Hitsugi to few to go secured himself the clear. He ain't mining his two clears already with the second going over 97% future weep here. I did not manage to find that score. I only managed to find Epsilon sample clear and the FNF Epsilon clear. I couldn't even prove that he had a 97% clear. For the sake of the video we'll be taking a look at his first clear. He ended raw squads with 96.87%, he continued to keep his 96 during Forgotten, achieving 96.30%. His accuracy unfortunately dips on Mario Paint, scoring 95.55%, but managing to recover his accuracy on Hitsugi Tofutago, securing himself a clear of 96.16%. Yuma achieved the 4 feather clear in the history of Mania, getting around 96.01%. He cleared Rose Quartz with 96.30%, and unfortunately going below 96 on Forgotten, and then managing to recover a bit of his accuracy on Mario Paint, getting 95.87%. He then recovered enough to accuracy to score on the Epsilon clear on Hitsugi. Transcendence is the fifth player to clear the dam, with his accuracy standing at 96.11%. He got 96.53 on roll squads, keeping good accuracy, only dropping to 96.16 on Forgotten, dropping to 95.68 on Mario Paint, and regaining his accuracy in Hitsuki, ending with a score of 96.05. Boji is an extremely good player and it's only sensible that he has a clear on this monstrosity of a dan, since he has around 2 or 3 clears already and his first clear has also gone off of YouTube, we are going to be looking at his oldest clear available. He finishes Rose Quartz with a 96.69%, keeping his accuracy throughout forgotten, resulting in 96.59%, raising his accuracy to 96.65% on Mario Paint, giving enough accuracy to score on his multiple clears. This man forgot that of on this f***ing document. Yonho's run is the seventh clear in the world and one of the most recent clears on this list, at least according to YouTube. He started off with an amazing run on roll squads, finishing it with 97.71, continuing to keep the accuracy above 97% during Forgotten. Sadly, Mario Paint made him drop his accuracy all the way down to 26.29%. But luckily he regained some accuracy during Hitsugi, securing himself a clear of 96.41% and becoming the second Korean to clear Epsilon after Kalkai. Juxu's Epsilon clear has a bit of sad backstory. He's choked the Dan twice, with the accuracy standing at 95.05% and 95.82%. According to him, this Dan ruined his whole school life and his grades until the day he cleared it. It is sad to hear that from a player as good as him, but the next thing we are about to show is him achieving his goal. Clearing the Epsilon Dan and became the 8th player to do so, he got 96.65% on Rose Quartz, keeping his 96 throughout forgotten finishing with 96%, dropping to 95.55% on Mario Pin and regaining his accuracy on Hitsugi. Leading to the following reaction. Yes! 
Yeah, 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 yeah,